it, the question then becomes: How many people are right now sitting there saying, "Dude, I think these guys are pinning us against each other"? Well, let me let me let me point something. I got this very delicious uh, vault, phenomenal drink. You phenomenal feel, drink. How's your brain feel? It feels great, and people could probably tell I'm like talking a million miles an hour. <laughs> this black cherry delicious energy drink that you guys made has no sugar in it. Yes. Yep. So what happened to a hundred years of advertising from Coca Cola, where finally? We broke out and said, we don't want that high fructose sugar garbage in our drinks. We want something that's healthier, that's got, you know, natural sweeteners. And so you look at propaganda and manipulation. Let's go back to marketing and advertising. Coca-Cola ads across the board in every country, a dollar for a Coke. We make it affordable for everybody. And we have a whole generation that don't, doesn't want to drink soda. Somehow we broke that multi-billion dollar a year machine to propagandize us into drinking garbage. And they roll out in the 80s these artificial sweeteners, and we all buy into it. But now, all of a sudden, you've got a generation of people and more being like, we don't want aspartame, we don't want Splenda, we don't want high fructose corn syrup, right? Stevia is a leaf extract or a monk fruit. And now, you know what's really funny is I'm seeing everybody drink these spin drifts. Have you seen them? It's, it's, it's club soda and lemon juice. It's like sugar-free lemonade. Good. We broke the manipulation. We broke that propaganda, right? So it's possible. And maybe, maybe it's 100 years. I don't know. But- the most powerful propaganda machine outside of the U.S. government, I think, is these these massive uh, uh, dopamine stimulating foods and stuff that pe- they want people guzzling and drinking. And if we can stop drinking Coca Cola, and I think especially now with conversations like this, we're not drinking the, the the garbage of the government. Then I think the manipulation breaks at some point. I, but you I, know, you know where I'm going with this. D- d- I'm sorry. Uh, go ahead, Jimmy. No, I just wanted to say that we eat so much crap in this country. Like I was just in Italy, and you know they don't spray their their wheat with the glyphosate right? mm-hmm. like we do. So you, if you eat pasta here or whatever, and or, or everything's got that. So corn, the way they make corn in America, right? So uh, Bobby Kennedy explained it to me on the show is that they put this glyphosate. They figured out if they genetically modified corn, you can put glyphosate on it, and it will kill everything except this corn. Ugh. So now that's what, and then corn's in everything. They put that high fructose corn syrup, even in bread, you can't get it. So that's in everything. It's in all your wheat. It's in all your bread. And so that's why we're so sick as a goddamn country. We're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. We're not getting healthier and healthier. It's because all the goddamn poisons we're eating in our food. When I worked for American Eagle Airlines, we would do de-icing in the winter. I'm at Chicago O'Hare Airport. And I'm up in this big cherry picker on top of a truck with this big hose over my shoulder and a lever. I would pull and blast something called propylene glycol onto oh, these planes. God. Propylene glycol is used as an antifreeze. It has two, two formulations. One was a 50-50 water, uh, water mix, which was hot. And it was hot propylene glycol to blast the ice off. Then we would use a 100% pure propylene glycol to then keep the ice from forming. The ice are on the planes, right? They the put way- this in muffins at gas stations. Oh, what? They say it's fine for you to eat. Don't worry. And oh apparently what it does is it's this <laughs> gel. When you add it to muffins and food, it makes it seem oily. Because oh, I love that part of it. Oh. Damn you, it. When you make a cake, you put oil in it. And oh. that's what makes it gooey and delicious. And, and look, it says hey. it's recognized it's by safe by the FDA. Uh, D- yeah, Are you kidding me? How does that now, even possible? Now, hold on. You, it, it may be the case that, like, just because I use it as antifreeze on an airplane doesn't mean it's literal ethylene. I, I think it's ethylene glycol, which is you do not drink. That goes in your engine. Mm-hmm. But when I worked for American Eagle, they said, keep it off your skin, avoid contact, cover your mouth, and avoid getting large quantities on you. The FDA says it's safe, but mm-hmm. we are advising you not to yeah. get it on you. And there was even a story. One guy said that his buddy walked out of the break room, and he pointed at him and just blasted him with it because oh. they thought it was safe. And I'm like, bro, they thought asbestos was safe. Yeah. Okay, right. how many? They thought cigarettes were safe. Agent Orange. Yeah. So, but look. You I, know where I, I'm going with this, though. This, this, this department. 